I've been coming around uh, many videos on YouTube and the such, Reddit and others, uh, stating that mainstream media music is satanic. Well, I don't know exactly how to provide the definition for uh, the term satanic, but I can say one thing. See, music has a very deep and profound influence on people, especially when you are um, somewhat sleeping, right? When you are asleep, when you are ignorant, because the problem is, when you are ignorant, you are like a sponge. You open yourself instantly towards everything and everyone. So, when it comes to music, People, unfortunately, they don't live music because you have to live music, right? Many people are fooled by this agenda, right, of um, mainstream media music to promote the idea of suffering. What did they do? Well, they promote the same thing that this sick society has been going through, and that is suffering, right? You see all those fake artists, uh, you know, they... Um, pretend that they're suffering and it's all about pain and crying and the such and a lot of people is like if they're not suffering enough it's like their life is not good this is what they want for you this is what the sick society wants for you to always be afraid to always be you know suffering about something because you know if you're not in such states a sick society cannot easily control you right and uh, see music has a very profound influence on people Music is something that you have to live consciously because you also have to be aware that music in itself is energy. It is, let's not call it necessarily energy, we can call it information. It grants you certain things and at an occult level or at a hidden level, someone can manipulate you with music, right? When you open yourself to music, you're literally becoming mesmerized, right? Because you're giving your whole focus to that piece of music, right? To that music track or whatever, right? And when you look especially at the younglings, there is nothing to protect them from any negative influence, right? Any emotional or psychological harm that it may bring. Because when you overdo something and you do it obviously overdo it obviously you will do it unconsciously which means you don't care about any possible consequences well the problem is it can become like a drug right everything that you overdo in a way is like a drug right so when it becomes like a drug you see also many younglings when they listen to the music at a concert, all they do is what? They just keep jumping up and down like they'd be some pistons in an engine, right? In a car engine or any other engine that functions based on pistons, right? So all that mesmeric control, right? This is something that people have to understand. It is a very powerful influence. And what is the significance of jumping like that? Well, the jumping like that is significant of, you know, worshipping the narcissism of this sick society, you know? Why is it that you're staying with your hands above? Well, you're staying with your hands above to show the sign of submission. This is something that I have observed constantly again and again. And, well, it is a way through which you uh, unconsciously revere the sick society that we live in. It's not about listening to the music, see, mainstream media is a bit beyond just the sounds, because if you just listen to the sounds, they're just some loops and some, you know, worthless sounds that are simply, uh, well, looped, and they play again and again and again. Loops are extremely de deadly for the brain, because, you know, it's easy to get hooked by them, especially if you're at a certain level of awareness. And, you know, when people are very low in that level of awareness and more or less ignorant, well, it's easy for them to get trapped in those things. You see all these fake artists promoting violence, death, you know, drugs and misery and suffering, and they also get awarded for that, right? But when people think about higher things, right, like love, they're shunned away, right? Because love can create a world, you know, which these fuckers simply cannot um, rule. They cannot do anything against the love uh, base world or a love not necessarily love because well love is superficially perceived nowadays but a world where people are united you know you can't do too much against right because the people will simply react or act in a more conscious way so music has a very profound influence on people right whenever you listen to music you should become aware of the fact that you're listening to it you're singing the verses and the such but you're not probably aware of the subtleties that it may give you right because the music 
it is exactly like money or any other energy that exists the way it is transmitted that's how it will influence you it can be a happy clappy song but the vibration of it may be that of pulling you down that of keeping you ignorant so this is a trend right you'll see slowly uh, this year there will be a lot of music that will promote going to war and fighting in the uh, ukraine war against russia or you know promoting the idea to younglings and making it look that fighting wars is fun and entertaining and there was there's probably gonna be a new war that's gonna start in serbia as of what i've heard because there are a lot of tensions somewhere around that region and they will start doing music to simply promote younglings to go to war and die so that you know only the old people and the easily manipulable will remain in society if this is the society that you simply uh, wish to embrace well keep being an ignorant you're doing a good job if you're thinking that this is a problem well you might need to wake up and realize that well society can't live the way it's been doing so for thousands of years for too much anymore this being said hopefully this video raised a bit of awareness you are appreciated take care and this being said very gentle board signing out